Today I have for you another hopefully, hopefully amazing unboxing video of guess what? Headphones. Now, you guys don't know, but I've been in a huge need of headphones. I struggle to like find ones with a good enough mic. Uh, they all complain, they usually even mute me when we play together uh, because my mic is just so god awful. And also only one of my headphones work. I don't know why, but it just stopped working. So I'm really praying on some good ass headphones. So I had to look into some sites to find proper headphones um, that have a great mic and uh, actually good like audio so that I can also hear very well because I like playing a lot of like FPS games and I gotta know the location of my enemies just by listening to them, you know. And I ended up, guess what? Finding some Razer headphones. I managed to find them. Uh, in a site that was called Razer Blades. I know that sounds weird and that doesn't sound that legit for Razer equipment like if you want to buy Razer equipment just buy it from the site or like from Amazon or something. Now having Razer in the name gave me no doubt whether or not this is gonna be like fake or anything because they have Razer in the name right that's trademarked. Uh, so I bought it and surprisingly enough it came in a green box. Now of course it's Puma shoes um, I am not done, like I know that's not the Razer box, but it's a green box and green is the color of Razer in a way, so you know, that kind of helped like hype me up when I saw it in the mail today. Uh, okay, so uh, the box is kind of open, there's no like defense, then after that, all right, hopefully it's headphones dude, come on, <gasps> oh my god it's headphones, it's actually headphones, there's no like but it's not the ones that I ordered, what the hell? Hold on, that's not the ones that I ordered. That's HyperX headphones, that's not Razer headphones. Whoa, what the f What? You seeing this? Wait, you seeing this? What? Why is this like, if a dog bite it off? What? What the hell is this? Measuring tape? Actually, I'm gonna plug it in my PC and I'm gonna try them out now. What? I can't hear anything. Maybe the audio is like low. I can't hear anything. I am playing music, but it's, I can't hear anything. I am so excited. I ordered the new iPhone 11. I finally decided to upgrade and I'm gonna surprise my husband because he was really needing a new upgrade to his phone. It's super sleek design. It's really beautiful and I love iPhone. Anyway, the weird thing is, is that I ordered this off of eBay, but it came in an Amazon box. So what I'm assuming is that they repurposed their own Amazon box for this purchase, but Oh my God, it looks so cool. Can't wait. Sometimes they do that. Oh, look at how beautiful that is. Nice, beautiful case. Just some, some dust and stuff. Looks kind of old, but that's the case. And it came really nicely packed with all those nice little Air Plus bubble things, whatever, cool. Well, they packed it well. Isn't this beautiful? There it is. iPhone, 512 gigabytes. Ooh, 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 ooh. iPhone 11 Pro Max. It comes with Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and GPS. And some capabilities are not available in all our areas depending on your wireless plan and service provider network. It doesn't really matter what color I have it because I put it in the case anyway, so it doesn't really matter. All right, so let's take a peek at this. Shall we look? Oh, the unveiling. Today, we are going to be showing you the fact that you can buy fake fragrances fairly cheaply and get basically the exact same smell. Today, I have bought a Hugo Boss Orange which is on eBay. Basically, this is just an online purchase that is very obviously fake. They claim it's real, but it's very obviously a fake purchase. It isn't expensive. This is highly packaged. I think it came from the UK, but I believe it must be originally Chinese. Don't quote me on that. I'm not 100% sure. 
I'm very glad that it's finally here. Let's get that out. And there is the Hugo Boss Orange. Looks fairly legit, I'm not gonna lie, it looks pretty real. Opening it up, nothing suspicious. Looks like a fairly new packaging, looks like fairly genuine packaging. This is exactly the same as the original, in case anybody doesn't know. Even, ooh, straight off, it smells pretty good, smells like the real. Mm-hmm, definitely. Maybe the ever so slightest bit stronger in the alcohol smell. But generally, generally, they smell pretty damn similar. This right here is the older model. Hugo Boss themselves have changed their packaging, as you can see very similarly, even just from the shine. There's a metal piece on the original one, and there isn't on the new one. But they are both almost identical in every way. We'll go with this wrist. They smell almost the exact same. There's literally no difference. It even has the numbers. I'm pretty sure that this was cheap. Let me just go and make sure. My eBay purchases. How? Oh, I know how exactly how I made that. I put the item into watching and went into the listing and looked at similar items and saw the one for 80 and I questioned why it was so damn much so I put it into watching as well. They were both right on top of each other and I thought I clicked on the cheaper one and because I have one time payment it just instantly does it. I went and bought the much more expensive even than new one instead of the fake. This is the real Hugo Boss. This is double the price that I was meant to pay, or if you went into a fragrance shop, you would pay. And now that I've opened it and have quite obviously used it, I doubt I will be able to refund it. But today I'm going to be doing the unboxing video of a Michael Kors watch. This watch extremes luxury to me. As you can see, it comes from nice wooden type of box. It smells really nice as well. Here's the box. You know when it's high end or quality product when when the box is from going from a low end quality to a high end product like especially like watches it's the not so much the watch <laughs> there's so much the watch don't get me wrong but it's the like the, the quality of the packaging as you can see here this is how it looks like i ordered the one with the sports strap so let's take a look first let's delete the watch to the end and come to the Michael Kors guide. Everything from how to open it, how to set it up. And then it has the warranty information. So yeah, get ready to get the unboxing. This is not a Michael Kors watch. This says F-U-C-D-A. <laughs> really, I'm really, really puzzled here. Let me open this watch up. Wow. It says stainless steel. Three atmosphere. This is not a Michael Kors watch. This is a really... This is broken already. <laughs> they sent me a broken watch. I didn't order this on Michael Kors website, but... It said it was a Michael Kors sports model watch. You know, the gold one with the sports thing. Today I'm going to show you my brand new ordered product, Samsung Galaxy S11 Pop. I ordered the S11 two weeks back and uh, now it has reached me. Also, the price is very good. So today I'm going to unbox the product and show you what's inside. They have Wow, they have wrapped it nicely, so it is that's incredible. I'm going to peel off these covers. Oh my god, wait! I ordered a silo. 
this box says it's a jetty. Jetty stickers is here. It's heavy. I think Paul is inside. Um, what's this thing? It's a really cheap Samsung phone. Why not find it that floor?